It's an election race too close to call. The longtime leader of Israel versus the former leader of the military. <laughs> Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu holding a cabinet meeting in the West Bank, promising to annex parts of the territory if he wins. Despite the inevitable international outcry, Netanyahu has shown once again he'll do whatever it takes to win. The 69-year-old leader has put his friendship with President Donald Trump on full display. He's made claims of election fraud, saying the left and the Arabs want to steal the elections. Yet another secret nuclear site. In his element, Netanyahu has controlled the news agenda, making big announcements almost nightly. But in his get-out-the-vote push, he issued a warning to supporters of his Likud party. Don't sit at home. Don't say it doesn't matter. It matters all right. Right now, we're losing. If you go out and vote Likud, then we'll win. Former Chief of Staff Benny Gantz has been polling neck and neck with Netanyahu. He has struggled to control the narrative and has not found a resounding message. Analysts have said his campaign is lackluster. And yet, he's very much in this race. His main talking point, Netanyahu is a danger to democracy. Those who do not want to see a government that tramples on the principles of democracy must go out and vote blue and white. Gantz served under Netanyahu as the Israeli military chief of staff. But now they are political enemies. These two men were separated by less than 15,000 votes in April's election. Both claimed victory that night, and both men were, in the end, mistaken. Now it's round two, where a second chance to win also means another chance to lose.